I think it's amazing because people need this resource. Parents, we need this resource. The kids need this resource. It is a hefty grant to help the University of Central Florida researchers with a big mission. The focus is squarely on children. Spectrum News 13's Julie Gagata went on special assignment to see how they're using technology for speech therapy, hoping to set guidelines for an entire industry. Are you excited? Twice a week. Jesse and Woody are singing. They are singing. Five-year-old Alejandro Genovese doesn't say he's headed to therapy, but... To walk. Working on his speech delay. Jumping. I'm jumping. From another room, his father keeps a watchful eye. I thought it was really cool that I could still be a part of it without being a distraction being in the room. Joey Genovese says they tried switching schools because Alejandro's teachers weren't understanding him. Because everybody cares about him. Leading to frustration. He was shut down and he wouldn't talk and you'd see the tears in his eyes. But then they found UCF's FAST clinic where student clinicians work with children using sensory toys and a variety of apps. They don't have time to waste, these kids. So we want them to communicating at the level that they should be for their age. Director Jennifer Kent Walsh says there are plenty of apps which help, but guidelines for speech pathologists, teachers and family members to use them are non-existent. That's what we're trying to do here in our research is focus in on being able to provide very clear guidelines. Now a $2.7 million grant from the National Institutes of Health should help, funding a five-year clinical trial. The goal isn't to create dependent Tendency on this instead to help people communicate more effectively. Over time, in many cases, they use the technology less as their speech improves. We've had many examples of having killed children tell their parents that they love them for the first time, that they haven't been able to do that. While Alejandro won't be able to be a part of the new study. That's me. This is me. Does it help you to communicate? Yeah. His father says so far. Dirty. You're dirty. They've seen incredible results. He's come out of his shell. Alejandro harnessing his lost gift of speech. It makes you feel what? Happy. In Orlando, Julie Gargata, Spectrum News 13. The National Institutes of Health grant is shared with the University of New Mexico as they conduct tandem research. Right now, UCF's enrolling up to 120 three to four-year-olds for the clinical trial.